Okay, welcome back. Let's get back to work on the tutorial. So let's get our Clockify and let's. Okay, I can just start typing Milly and yeah, he remembers. So let's start the work. Uh, right now we're doing the template ability setup. Then we're going to set up attack and defense. So this is for now. Then we will do rest stuff around abilities, but we also want to do uh, melee weapon anim graph. We want to do proper anim graph um, for the upper body. So let's maybe start with that. Let's run the. So let's run it. Uh, and by the way, mm -hmm. oh, we for we forgot about that. I was wondering why it's not falling by default because we forgot in the template to set up that it should. And it did fall properly, and we can even move it by interacting with it. Great. Okay, so we're going to test in just one client for now. We're going to open everything we have closed previously. Mm. And we are going to work at the animation graph first. So we're doing the core animation graph here. We're going to overlay uh, we don't have those fancy linked uh, states, but we have still this. Um, so we're going to do things here. Um, okay, let's see what animations we have to work. Uh, we got walk. Uh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is like swaying left and right, and this is swaying up and down a bit forward and backward. Okay, walk stop. So we got a stop animation. We got an idle. We can work from this. Okay. <coughs> We're going to do a state machine and we're going to say a uh, long sort. And here we're going to have a state which is uh, idle. And in idle, we're going to have a state machine like everywhere else. And we're going to say idle state machine long sort. Uh, by the way, okay, this state can be like this, this, and now we have um, stop. Oh, we also got run stop. Let's look at this one. Oh, okay, I like this a lot more. So we're going to do this one. And we're going to say that it is not looping. And we're going to make another state. This state will be idle. Idle and idle adjust. Okay. Then random sequence player. And we have run, um, idle long. And we got. I go long adjust. So chance to play on this one will be three, chance on this one will be one. So it will be three to one. Shuffle mode means that we have to go through all of them. No, we don't. Uh, linear blend, 0 0.2, that's okay. You know what? We actually want to do cubic. I want to do uh, herbite cubic on both of those and 0 0.2 so we got idle 
and there's nothing else there and this is an automatic uh, initialization mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we need to initialize somewhere and let's do it once don't try to do multiple initializations and don't try to do IK before initialization so this is the idle state uh, moving state is idle uh, not and for moving we want to go back to idle on idle and moving will be tricky we're going to actually make a blend space for that so we go to into animations blend spaces and let's make a blend space 1d and we're going to of course for our skeleton and we're going to call it uh, long or great sort great sort uh, with capital G great sort uh, walk land space body okay mm, and we want to put it here and let's open it up and we have walk long and we got walk one which is this one it will be forward and backward and we got walk two which will be left and right so for strafing so we probably guessed it this is direction and this is minus 180 to 180 and target weight blunt is high is it this high yes it's this high we can actually make it smaller like two <clears throat> so we got just those animations and they are not scaling okay mm, we go back here we do direction and we want to also say that it is looping and play rate is exposed i want to say velocity so any velocity is if it's uh, forwards or backwards doesn't matter mm. Mm. Uh, map range clamped so for velocity between 120 let's say to 380 and to say that this is one and this is mm, 0.5 well yeah let's do just 0.5 let's not make it below that because slowing animations below half looks awkward as hell and let's maybe do you know what 600 will be two we can then change that uh, or let's say 460 would be 1.5 okay so we have different play rates here so this is done initialization idle is done <clears throat> so the entire great sort is I think done we can do jumping as well if we have jumping Oh, we have. Okay, let's do that. Why not? Um, that's gonna look cool. So here, long sort grounded. Um, we can do another state machine. State state machine. And we want to do state or grounded and it will go into state in a, a jump um, and jump and go to state fall and then fall go back into grounded we could do a land or something or we could close those two in just one node to make state machine sided but we already got 
so many state machines inside state machines that I think that's enough. Okay. Uh, so basically, if we are not in air, we are grounded. We are jumping when uh, we are falling, or you know what? We got like um, so many states. There's in air, which also follows flying. Um, we got flying and we got falling. So falling is anything but flying. So we want to do just in air. So if we are in the air, then we do jump. Jump. And then we want to do automated base room. And sometimes we'll have such a small jump that we want to do this. Uh, in air not. Oh, and here, in air, not, goes back to grounded. So this is two ways, this is one way, and this is automatic rule, which means that this must be not looping. Okay, and everything goes as energization. Okay. And hopefully we didn't break anything. Let's let's see. Okay. So we are in idle. Oh, we have this adjustment uh, animation. Looks pretty cool. Huh? Run it again. I know you want to. Okay, this is walking. It's a bit too much. This is strafe walking. This is something in between. Okay. All animations are too fast. Uh, for me at least. So let's go back here. Ground it. And those values are the ones we are aiming at. So let's say that 190 to 380 is up to 1. Let's say mm, mm, let's do it like this 1.2, 190.7. Let's test it out. Okay, that looks a lot better. Jump. Okay, the land must be slower blend, I would say. So this and this. But it's slower. Okay, yeah, it's more fluid now. Honestly, I kind of like and hate the camera position by the socket for the camera. <coughs> we probably should get back to the camera and increase the FOV to 90 and it will look a lot better now. Yep. Yes, it does. So let's leave it at 90. I like FOV 77, by the way, that's the FOV of Destiny. It's one of the best first person games ever. And um, it just works so good for 16 uh, to 9 uh, monitors. But yeah, 90 works as well. We have better vision now, and animations look better. The forward and backwards are a bit fast. But you know what? We can adjust that even more. So we can go into our animation. Here. 
And we can say that yeah, like this it's smaller than this. So what we wanna do, we wanna say that uh just scale it down a little for forward and backward. Uh, eight, nine, yes. Oh point eight even. Point eight. And this would be point eight. Save. Let's take a look. Okay, it's oh yeah, it's more in the same tempo now. And how do we look in third person? Let's let's take a peek. So as a client, two windows. Let's get this one as the observer. We'll just stand here and let's switch to the second guy. And let's take a look. Not half as awkward as I would imagine it. <laughs> yeah, of course, not in sync when it comes down to the idle animation, the adjustment one, because it's being. Um, simulated locally but it's just cosmetic it doesn't matter if the character is doing exactly the same what matter is the gameplay effects and how it affects gameplay it doesn't it's just an idle animation i like this top okay that's great so we got working animations for this guy it starts to look like like something let's go here call it 